So, hello sa inyo. Ngayon ang pag-uusapan natin ay thermodynamics at ang kanyang mga system of units na ginagamit. So, ano ba yung thermodynamics? So, thermodynamics from the word itself, uh, thermo, that means that is something relating to heat. And dynamics, that means motion. So, thermodynamics uh, is simply as heat in motion. So, sa thermodynamics din, pinag-uusapan kung uh, how, how one energy is being transformed into another. Uh, say, heat energy into other forms of energy like electrical, mechanical, and also mechanical energy turning into heat energy and other energies related. So, before we proceed to the system of units, we must know first the Newton's second law of motion. So, Newton's second law of motion st states that acceleration is directly proportional to force and inversely to its mass. So, therefore, itong proportionality symbol na to ay turning into equal sign and k, yung k is the proportionality constant so times f over m <clears throat> so if we are about to find the k so that is mass times acceleration over the force so if we are about to find the force we have a force mass times acceleration divided by the k the constant of proportionality so let us proceed now to the CGS system. So yung unang system natin is CGS system. System of units. So CGS um, stands for centimeter, gram, and second system of units. So in CGS system, so in order for us, uh, pag prepare sa tayo ng isang dyne, so dyne is a unit of force in CGS system. So, mag accelerate yung isang gram of mass sa isang uh, centimeter per second square. Applying yung formula sa which the K. So, ang K dito ay gram of mass centimeter over dine, dine second square. So, higyan natin ng dot. So, another unit of force in the CGS system is 1 gram of force. So, 1 gram of force, pag sa ka ng isang gram of force, mag-accelerate ang isang gram of mass. So, 1 gram of mass sa 980 Point six six centimeter per second squared. So applying again yung formula, k is equal to mass times acceleration over f. Ang k dito ay oh, nine point ay nine hundred nine hundred eighty point six six gram of mass centimeter per 
gram of force uh, second squared so para malaman natin ang relation ng gram of force sa dynes so we just simply equate the k dito so therefore uh, gram of mass centimeter per dyne uh, second squared is equal to dito 980.66 gram mass centimeter per gram of force second squared and then may mga kakancel dito like this one, gram of mass if we divide it both sides by gram of mass the gram of mass will cancel same also the centimeter the second squared and what remains is the grams, gram of force and dyne itataas natin to dito and itong dyne dito so therefore we have the relation ng isang gram of force pala ay equivalent sa 980.66 dynes. So, another system of units is the MKS system of units uh, MKS stands for meter kilogram second system of units so sa MKS um, kung prepare sa tayo ng isang newton prepare sa tayo ng isang newton mag accelerate ang isang kilogram of mass sa isang meter per second squared. So, applying yung kaninang formula, K, ang K dito, is equal to kilogram of mass meter per newton second squared. So, another unit of force in the MKS system is the kilogram force. So, kapag prepare sa ka ng isang kilogram of force, uh, mag-accelerate yung isang kilogram of mass sa 9.8066 meter per second squared. Bale, ang K dito, would be uh, kilogram uh, unahin natin yung number 9.8066 kilogram of mass uh, meet times meter per kilogram of force second squared So, once again, equate natin to itong K na to dito. Bali, ang mangyayari niyan. Kilogram of mass. Kilogram of mass times meter per newton second squared is equivalent to 9.8. 8066 kilogram of mass times meter per kilogram of force second squared. So once again, cancel tong kilogram of mass, cancel tong meter, meter in second squared. Tataas natin tong kilogram force to din dito. So Ang isang kilogram of force pala ay equivalent sa 
9.8066 Newton.